on defense, there's a lot of ways you can play Viper on split. But this is one of my favorite ways where you go right here and put a wall that covers a main, a ramps, and mid. And then with that, all of the A choke points are walled off. So what I usually use the orb for is you stand right in front of the crate here. Aim at the bottom of this dark part, right where it gets darker, like so. Jumping right click. You can play from right here. Watch the one way if you need to, if the person in vents loses vents control. And then if they come up ramps, you can watch it like this. Or if you prefer to play on the mid or B side of the map, you can do a wall that pretty much does the same thing as the one on A, where it gets mid, A ramps, and A main, like so. And then you can put your orb in B main, you can do a B one way. But with the new Viper buffs, I would rather just put the smoke in the choke point like this than do a one way, in my opinion. Just because they're going to take so much damage when they push through that. But if you prefer to save your wall for retake, then I would say the best place to play is probably B heaven. So that way you can rotate quicker. Because if you're playing A and saving your wall for retake on B, you're going to take a lot longer to get to B. And also if you're playing on B site and you're trying to retake A, it's going to take way longer than just playing in mid. So if you're saving a wall for retake, you can do the one way right here where you go on the first step. And then right where this corner aligns with the light, like so. That's the one way for mid. And that way you can save your wall for retake on B or A. And on defense, I would say the best place to ult if you don't have a Sage to wall mid is definitely mid because mid control is just so important on this map. Just watch out because if you do ult, then they're probably going to spam you, whether it's this side or that side. So maybe wait a bit, wait for them to stop spamming. And this just makes it really hard for them to take mid control. And I would say on defense, ulting B is probably really bad. And I'll show you why. So if you ult B main aggressive, and they can just go through mid and they just have all of this like if you're playing in the ult then they just have a lot of site control but then if you want to ult on site so that people coming from mid can't just walk on site i mean it like it just gives them full b main control and you know sure you can have like a one way here but it's just i would much rather ult mid or a on defense so if you have a sage to wall mid i would say the best place to ult probably a man and back when Poach was on Anbox, you could see him doing this ult a lot. So if you want to be aggressive with it, you know, you can get close, ult like this, go for a pick if you want, but they usually spam here, so getting aggressive is pretty scary. But if you want to play more passive, wait for them to get decayed a lot, you are going to have to have someone watch the ramp, just so that they can't walk up that. But this is a really good ult, and it just makes it so hard for them to push A. Unless they go through mid, but if you're having someone to watch that, then it should be good. So there's two walls that I like to do, and both are on A. And I'll explain why I don't like to do any walls on B later. But for the first one, it's just the default one where it's behind the leaf next to the first light. And then on the third wood, one, two, three, right where this line is. And that'll make sure that it gets ramps and heaven. And there's different variations of this wall. Some people like to do it where it just covers heaven and it doesn't cover ramps so that people can't lurk behind it. Or some people like to put it a little bit deeper so that, you know, people can't just hide behind the wall. But personally, I like this one the best because if you put the wall a little bit farther back and they decide to peak heaven like this, they can just get a pick, fall back. But with this, they're going to get decayed if they do that. And while they can hide behind the wall when it's like this, if you communicate with your team when you're putting down the wall, and anyone who decides to hide behind the wall is just dead because they're just standing out in the open. And there's another wall that I like to do, and it's also on A. And only do this if you have another person to smoke for you. You go in this corner and aim it on top of this bottom box, like so. And this blocks off vision from anyone holding A main like this, so you can get a good alert across here then if you go up ramps then this wall makes it so that you can isolate one v one fights with anyone playing in front of the wall and then you know you can get a good location put the wall down take fights like this and this is just a good lurk wall but if you're the only smoker and you want to go b 
Then you want to do this smoke on heaven. So you go on up on top of these boxes, then on the trash bag, right right on the middle dot. You just align it on the middle dot. And then you use your HUD for this one, but you look on this green square on the top square like that. Align your HUD like so. And that'll land on heaven here, right on the edge. So that way it blocks off anyone trying to peek from here. And then also anyone on this side of rafters. So this is definitely the best heaven smoke for Viper on B. So there's a w lot of ways you can use your poison orb on B if you have another person to smoke heaven and CT for you. So these are my favorite ways to use it. So if you just want a general CT smoke, make it so that it makes retake harder for them. You can lob it in there. But if you have time, you can also one way CT. And there is a few different spots you can do it from. One of the spots you stand in this corner. And then on this green sign, just in this general left side, doesn't have to be specific, but it's just like that. It's a pretty good CT one way. It looks like this for you. And then for them, it looks like this. I mean, they can't see anything, even if they crouch. So yeah, whether you have time to set up the CT one way, or if you just want to lob it in there, those are both really good ways to make it really hard for them to retake the site. And then here's a random cool one way you stand right in front of the box and be main right here and then on the second white part like here you just align it with the pipe and then it'll look like that and that'll land right here and this is a one way for the new B default plant they literally just can't see anything if they're diffusing the bomb and you can see their legs and even part of their body with this one way this one's really good also if you want to smoke heaven you can go to the middle of this wall like here and then aim on the second dot left click that'll land on heaven like this and then on post plant if you want to make retake harder for the enemy team then you can one way um ct where you stand right here and then align your hud on this shape align the hud like so and my favorite place to play is right here you can play a lot of different places, but this one way is just so much harder for them to play around. All right, so starting off the Moy lineups for A, you're going to stand in front of the flower pot right here. And then the first lineup spot is going to be behind map right here. So for the poison orb, if you need to get it on the bomb, then you can align it in the middle of this blue light. So here's the top, here's the bottom, just line in the middle, jump throw. And then that'll land on default map like so. And then for the Moy lineup, this is going to be pretty hard to use your crosshair for if you have a big crosshair like me. So I found a way to do it with the HUD. So you align your HUD in the bottom part of this white and then just move it over to the left on the wood like that. And that'll land on the default map plant. All right. So for the second spot, it's going to be behind default right there. So you stand in the same place in front of the flower pot. All right. So if you want to get your poison orb on the spike right here, then you align your HUD on this line that I'm highlighting right now. And you put your HUD on it like that. Jump throw. And then that'll land on default plant. And then for the molly, you're just going to aim in the far left of this light right here. Like so. And that'll land on default right there. All right. So starting off with the first B lineup, it's going to be right on this cone right here. And you align your crosshair right under this gap in the letters and just move it down. So it's on the sign like right there. And then that'll land on default right there. And it's not going to have the best spread, but it works. And the second one isn't really a lineup, but if you just bounce the molly off this wall in this general area, it'll land on default right there. And then for the last lineup, you stand in this corner in B alley right here. And then on this shape right here on the black line, you just align your HUD in the middle of it like so. And then that'll balance off and hit default. All right, so if you plan it for B main, you can go for lineups, but how I usually play it is I use the one way that I showed earlier and then just play off it. And then if you need a molly, then it adds a decay that you need. But you can just play behind this box, bounce off mollies. But if you're in heaven and you, for some reason, need a molly, the new B main plant, then you can stand right next to this um, flower pot and then align your crosshair on the end of the wood like so. And then that'll drop really quickly and hit the new B main plant. Here's a bonus one way I found from the cutest Viper main, Bernie.
I would say you're mostly going to use the smoke if you're pushing B through mid and you go through heaven. But to do it, you stand on this box, go on the very tip. All right, so you align the middle of these signs right here on this line, like so. And this is the enemy's tr perspective, trying to push the one way. They have to come out all the way out here just to see anything. 